Yo what's good guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today we're going to talk about how to reduce your input delay on Fortnite while using a controller. A good friend of mine who plays tons of Rocket League showed me a reddit post which will blow your mind. If you've been playing any sort of video games on controller, let's say Fortnite, Rocket League or any other shooter, this will definitely give you an incredible competitive advantage boys. I'm also going to speak about some programs which can help you as well to improve your input delay but let's just talk about the biggest lie the gaming industry told you over the last few Few years guys trust me this is going to change everything in the first place i'm going to prove you that a wireless dualshock 4 controller has less input delay than a wired one i know this sounds insanely dumb and also weird because you've been told over the last few years that wireless controllers always have more input delay but a really known reddit user who plays tons of rocket league and as you know guys rocket league is mainly played on controller and it's super important to have the least amount of input delay there as well tested out all the mainly used controllers on the market the stock dual DualShock 4 controller of the PS4, the stock DualShock 3 controller, even some older Xbox 360 controllers, the Steam controller, all these controllers, he tested them all out and measured the input delay. And he also gave us the stock input delay of any PC, which is around probably 10 milliseconds until the signal can get actually transferred. And then you see right now here on screen that the normal stock DualShock 4 Bluetooth controller only adds 2.8 milliseconds of input delay. If we move more towards the middle of this list, we can see that the DualShock 4 wired controller has around 10 milliseconds of input delay, which is 7.2 milliseconds more than a Bluetooth one. Even an older Xbox 360 wired controller, which is almost over and decade old has less input delay than a wired DualShock 4 controller. I know this sounds crazy in the first place but he tested this out multiple times, he has tons of proven information as well on his reddit account. Everything has been really tested multiple times in a row and this is just dumb to think about because I can remember back in the days I tried out once controller and all my controller player friends said never even think about using a wireless controller it will only give you additional input delay, you're gonna lag and you're gonna have a horrible experience. Just keep in mind guys this only affects really systems which support Bluetooth 3.0 and you can purchase these Bluetooth sticks for nearly around five to ten dollars. They're really cheap. You can find them on Amazon or everywhere else. I bought even mine, I think, for three dollars back in the day from Banggood once I ordered my wireless keyboard. They're absolutely worth it. And just think about it you get 7.2 milliseconds less input delay if you purchase this for only around five dollars. And this is definitely worth it 100%, guys. I'm gonna link the whole entire Reddit post down in the description, guys. All the informations are there as well. You can read them for yourself if you don't believe me. It's just crazy crazy to think for me that a 15 year old controller which is the Xbox 360 controller in wired mode is less input delay than a wired DualShock 4 controller. And now let's continue with some additional Windows 10 settings to lower your input delay even more. And for the final part of today's video guys I just want to show you real quick a really simple tool which is called set timer resolution and as you guys know there's some default input delay on Windows there's just not too much we can do about it but this program actually helps us to reduce the input delay by 50%. If you take a look here current resolution resolution is on one millisecond and if we press on maximum we can see it's lowered by 50% so we're only on 0.5 milliseconds input delay now. This works for any input, it doesn't matter if you use mouse and keyboard, controller or whatsoever. I'm gonna put everything down in the description and yeah. And in order to make it work properly all I want to do is go into a Windows search bar, type in CMD and you see the first thing which should come up is comment prompt. What I want to do is run it as an administrator. And as we can see right now here this window, just go down the description and copy the entire code I marked there with probably CMD comment or something like that. That's gonna be the caption. And then just copy and paste it in here. And as you can see, the operation completed successfully. And now if we start timer resolution, we should see that if you put it on maximum, it should be on 0.5 milliseconds. If you don't put in the comments, it's gonna be on 0.499. And that's just a bug, it's not gonna work properly. So make sure to do this step as well, this is really important and then you're basically done. Well, apparently it's already been 3 hours since I filmed this whole entire thing here. And yeah, I just wanted to say guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This would help me out the best way possible. We are super close to 4k subscribers, which is just mind blowing. And yeah, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome, I'm out, peace. Shorty, you my favorite. I'm going for a bit, but I'll be back when I made it. I won't stop, I won't quit till I'm all up on the playlist. And they see me blowing up, that's the reason why they hate it. They see the digits, now they all going crazy. Little bitch, get the bitches, why the fuck you trying to play me? All these bitches on my life.